Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew, Black Dragon, here at Black Dragon Studios with another episode of I Play Raid Shadow Legends. Let me see if I can stop this real quick before we... Oh no, wait, 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 it's changing my food for me. Look at that. Oh, and it's going again. No, I told it to stop. <laughs> stop, please. Oh my god, RSL Helper. It's great, man, isn't it? So what we're here today to talk about is a campaign farmer playing raid you know that having a campaign farmer is a very important thing because without a good campaign farmer you're going to be taking 15 20 30 seconds to do one round of 12 3 where we're going to be farming and that's not a good thing considering there are lots of champions in the game that can get you a seven second farmer depending you have the right gear so yeah, let's go ahead here and look into some of these champs that can give us that 7 second farming capability. In the rares, they're only rares, which is a really good thing. Okay, Skinwalkers is not going to do it for us. Demon Spawn, I think, has one. Um, Hellfang, Fellhound. Fellhound can be a 7 second campaign farmer because he's Void Affinity which means no weak hits. And an A1 attacks all enemies, so it's very good. That's pretty much all we're looking for here is void champions that have uh, attacks all enemies. So there's Hellfang. He's uh, pretty easy to get. And the second one, the one that most commonly used probably by everyone uh, widely regarded as the best campaign farmer in the game easiest to get, Bellower. Bellower, this weird looking ogre dude has not only uh, attacks all enemies A1, but has attacks all enemies A2 and attacks all enemies A3, so he's just an all around great champion for doing some heavy damage on waves. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I have my Bellower belt out. I just upgraded his build so that he can one shot the waves and give us that 7 second farming capabilities. So I got 3500 attack on there. 171 speed. Speed's not super important. Um, I would just have him at, try to have him at least uh, 120 speed. Uh, if he can one shot the waves. Okay, so that's my suggestion. I have him at 171, which is fine. 100 crit rate, that's a given. Has to be 100% crit rate. In order for this to work, I have him at 282 crit damage. I think the lucky number for this amount of attack would probably be around 275 crit damage. 280 is pretty good. Uh, any more than that would probably be excess, and you'll see why. And everything else is just whatever. Okay, so for the masteries, I didn't even get them full masteries. I just went down into uh, Flawless Execution for 20% crit damage. But if we look here at this Keen Strike, it uh, gives nearly a Flawless Execution uh, at so much less the cost. So Keen Strike is important. I was able to put on Deadly Precision as well. If you can get a 100 crit rate, then obviously go with Blade Disciple for more attack. Uh, Ruthless Ambush, 8% for the first hit on each enemy. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all he needs. Okay, so the gear. Let's look at the gear real quick. It's not going to be a long video today, folks. Just a quick tutorial on how to build your... Campaign Farmer. So I was looking for stats like attack percent, crit damage, and crit rate. Set rate, set bonus doesn't really matter. As you can see here, I don't really have a set bonus, which is totally okay in this case. I went with crit damage, crit rate uh, on the helmet. I would like to get attack percent on there as well. So that's pretty much it. Just go for crit rate, crit damage, and attack percent. And then, uh, well, you could go with speed boots or you could go with attack percent boots. It's, it's really, I mean, it really doesn't matter, I guess. Let's see here. If I could just throw, like, these boots do work, but I could probably throw on attack percent boots, honestly. 
and make it even make it even more of a sure thing, right? That's if I can keep the crit rate at a hundred percent, of course. Okay, so we're gonna check out if we do have, uh, and then obviously the crit damage as well. So what are we losing here? We're gonna lose three crit rate, twelve. Crit, yeah, see, I don't have I don't have the proper attack percent boots, so I just put speed boots. Speed boots with uh, crit damage, crit rate, um, attack percent chest, and crit damage gloves. Six star, 80% crit damage gloves with crit rate on them. It's very important to get that crit rate up to 100. And uh, attack ring with attack percent. Crit damage amulet, six star with a uh, little bit of attack added on there. And uh, attack banner with attack percent. So that's pretty much it, man. It's that simple. It's that simple. And then you can just go in there. And you saw what he was doing before. You get your little RSL helper. You go into 12-3. Brutal. And then you go into your RSL. If you have it, you go into your RSL helper. And you click multi-level XP. Run effective resources. Auto sell artifacts, you should know this by now. If you don't, we'll uh, have a tutorial, I guess, right down in the comment section if you need a tutorial on how to use RSL Helper. FPS at 60, auto detection, and then just go into set food, and it'll show you right here who you have. See here? And these are, I just click on these guys, and then these are all the ones that it'll just switch out automatically for me. And then I just go, I just press start. Well, not yet. Because I have Bellower in the lead, right? And then I just press uh, start there. And it'll automatically level up all these guys for me in like 10 minutes. I can just go make a coffee. I can go, I can go watch a movie. If you have a lot of guys to level up. You go on a date with your girlfriend. Huh? If you got a girlfriend, you can do that. You don't have to worry about sitting in front of the computer. 24-7 playing raid anymore, ignoring your girlfriend. You can actually go spend some time with her. Look at this, man. Just one shot. Two shot. And then this Lord Shazar has the most C there. He did survive, so that kind of screwed us there. But it's fine. That does happen sometimes. That's why I say you got to get that attack up as high as possible. And that usually doesn't happen, but... He's, he's a weird one, man. He's got a little bit of survivability, that bastard. See, he usually does die. And uh, and there is a mastery that can help you get your uh, Mighty Bellow back quicker. I'll show you which one I'm talking about here. See, he just uses his Mighty Bellow and it's over at that point. Let's go into our champions real quick. Override the RSL Helper. And I'll show you which one helps him get that back. Uh, quite often, actually. It's this one right here, Cycle of Violence. Has a 30% chance of decreasing that cooldown of a random skill by one turn. If the damage of a skill uh, exceeds 30% of the target's max HP. So you definitely want to have that on your Bellower if your uh, damage output might not be the best with his A1. He'll definitely be able to kill the waves with his A2 and his A3 for sure. Um, you could set it up this way too, I guess. You could go into team setup. Although I don't think it would work with RSL Helper. Never mind. Yeah, that's kind of the downfall to Bellower. But anyway, yeah, so you just... You just do that. You get his crit damage up as high as possible and his attack up as high as possible. And uh, I'm sure if he had attack percent boots on with the proper crit rate, we would definitely be able to take down these uh, take down these waves. But you, yeah, it's like 99% what I got right now, which is an upgrade before because before it was taking me like fucking... Minimum 10 seconds every time. Now it's not. See, so just boom. One shots them. And that's it. That's great, eh? You're lucky enough to get a Bellower or a, or a Fellhound. 
or really any champion that has an A1 that's not going to get weak hits on these Spirit Affinity uh, champions, you're going to be in good shape to, uh, to be campaign farming in 7 seconds. So there, he just got the cooldown, so he'll have that back for the third wave. And just like that, so there you go. Let's stop that. Yeah, if you guys want to join Raid, if you guys for some reason didn't start playing Raid yet, I got a little promotion going on the channel right now. If you sign up through my referral link, which will be in the description of the video, uh, and get your account to level 50, I'll PayPal you $10 for getting me all these rewards. Even just a sacred shard, because the person that was doing this, the first one, he quit after. He didn't end up getting me the sacred shard, which is all I care about. So yeah, get your account up to level 50 and let me know. And uh, there's lots of ways to contact me through the description. And I'll hook you up with that 10 sheet. And that's pretty much it, man. There's a lot of other st good stuff in the description regarding like the store and stuff like the the clothing store that I now have for the channel. And that's it. I'm getting out of here for today, man. Clan v Clan coming up. 15 hours, 56 minutes. You're going to want to be ready for that. Hope you got all your resources collected and ready to go for your clan. If not, what kind of a clan member are you? <laughs> all right. Peace out, guys.